Hey everyone, welcome to Jesse Goes Zoom. So today I'm going to give you a little demo on the gyro function. So what the gyro function is, is it allows you to control the way that the zooms move. So normally a game starts, the zooms all fall in from the top and everything kind of stays centered and balanced. If you tilt your phone, if you drop your phone, if you're lying down, if you're sitting up, it does not affect your gameplay at all. But when you turn on the gyro function, so if you see there, I touch this little cog right here and I hit gyro on, okay? And you're gonna see what happens. <laughs> the first way that I can usually tell when gyro is on is that when I'm holding my phone, I'm never holding it as straight as I think I am. So I'm gonna be using Beast for this because it's actually great for Beast. He clears things in a diagonal line. So what the gyro is gonna allow me to do is move as many zooms into the path that he clears as I can instead of a regular gameplay where everything would just, you know, all stay even in the middle. So my beast is at skill level four and he's at level 29 of 30. So he'll clear a good amount. And the great news about this too, is if you've never tried this function, I've got a couple extra lives to burn. I have 706 lives right now. So I can mess around and show you how this works and you don't have to waste a life doing it yourself. So first of all, okay, those fell pretty evenly. But look, so if I tilt my phone to the right, all the zooms fall to the right. If I tilt my phone, my phone upside down, the zooms actually fall back out of the screen. And same thing for the left and same thing for the bottom. So if I'm playing with Beast, I'm going to want to angle my phone a little bit to the right if I can. So I'm going to start clearing some so you can see what this is like. And then I'll show you also a real game afterwards maybe. Um... Oh, you know what I forgot? If you're holding your phone, sometimes I hold my phone so it's like over a table, you know, like I lean it on the table. This is, you can't tell, but my phone is lying flat right now. Look how slowly these zooms fall. So when you're using this function, you really have to think about like all the C 3D space that you're playing in. So I'm going to lift my phone back up so it would be like if it's in front of my face, you know, if I were sitting on a couch, it's in front of my face, not below me, and everything is falling back at regular speed. So he clears to the right, and normally, you know, the zooms would be kind of more in the middle like this. If I'm keeping my phone tilted a little more to the right, it's going to clear that bigger path to the right. See, there's more zooms lined up in the path. So that was a burner game, obviously, because I was showing you the gyro function. And now I'm going to show it to you a little more in earnest. So I got 287 coins with that. Not terrible. I mean, considering I was barely playing. So I'm going to start a real game. You'll see the zoom should fall in a little bit to the right because I'm holding my phone on a slant. This will take some practice on your part. Um, it still takes practice on my part to find that, you know, correct kind of angle where everything falls to the right, but it's not... Um, too far to the right you know he clears a path in a diagonal so I still want some zooms in the bottom left corner you know I don't want everything up just against the right hand wall so I'm going to clear most of the stuff is in his path look at that um, let's see if I can do one by comparison I don't know if you'll notice but what we should see if I'm holding my phone regularly like I am is that um, there should be some zooms left on the top left right those four zooms were out of his path when he cleared it, right? So that's four zooms that I probably could have collected if I had my phone angled a little bit more to the right. It does not say that he only clears a certain amount of zooms. There are some where their skill says, you know, clear, clears five, clears ten, you know, that sort of thing. But as far as I know, he clears anything that's in his way. So the more zooms we can get over there, the more he's going to take out for us. The other cool thing about him, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to show you right now. Um, I'll leave that and see if that works. Nope, that wasn't it. He clears bubbles. So if you have a bubble in the way, it clears it with coins. If it's a, um, you know, a timer bubble, you'll still get the extra time. But he sometimes clears them away. I honestly don't know the difference when he does or doesn't. So you see that? The magic bubble turned into a coin bubble and he cleared it. So 1,115 coins up to 1128. Uh, I was trying a little more in earnest there. You could see the major difference. And truly, I've noticed that it really helps when I have the gyro on and I turn 
turn the phone a little bit. There are other zooms that this will work for. It's not for everyone. Number one, it's kind of strange playing. It definitely takes some practice, but number two, it, there's not really a purpose for it for all the zooms. Beast clears on a diagonal, so it makes sense to have more of the zooms on a diagonal, but if, you know, a skill clears straight across, you really wouldn't need that. So this is definitely a fun thing to play around with and see. Um, you can even look up other characters who you want to try it out with. Uh, I know Jasmine, it works for her because she clears a little more at the end of her skill. So if you angle the phone again a little bit to the right, um, you might pick up a couple extra zooms, a couple extra coins, a couple extra points at the end there. So hopefully this helped you out and learn you learned a little bit about how to use the gyro function and maybe even beast. And let me know if there's any other zooms you want me to test out or maybe any other little tips that you're looking to pick up about your favorite characters.